Hi everyone, welcome to this video. This is Richie the Blind Hedgehog and I'm here with my, well, my classic Disney Store Genie doll. He's actually really cute and I knew right away that I wanted to use him for the video. So yeah, well, this is Genie. Also, I'm going to watch the Aladdin mov movie tomorrow and well, I'm pretty excited to see it. So I hope Genie will be nice and yeah, so why not use him for the video right now? In this video, I would like to show you a haul, actually, uh, of the items that I've been collecting in the past few months uh, across Facebook and also uh, on my way. So, I'm just going to start by showing you some Facebook items which I did not uh, pack out since I went to pick them up. So, first of all, there is this adorable pet bed. Uh, in shape of a tomato. It's actually something between an apple, a tomato, an orange and a pumpkin. So make up your mind. What do you think what it is? I have no idea actually. There's a little pillow in there. Um, only thing is that it's a bit small. So I suppose it can be used for kittens. But when the, when the cat grow or um, when your pets, your pets get larger well, they might not be able to fit this little hole anymore. So, in fact, it can be nice for a guinea pig as well, just that it might just um, bite across the, the fabric. Um, but yeah, it, it's really cute, and I thought it might be nice for hedgehogs. In, uh, in autumn, the hedgehog can just go in there and, and yeah, find its warmth. Um, it's just that for... A dog or for a cat it turns out just a bit too small but I'm pretty sure yeah well I can still manage doing something nice with it I thought it was really cute as a little fruity uh, basket and uh, well I have the dead star as well and it comes in really handy it's right there actually I removed it because it's pretty late I was about to go to bed because it's about well really late <laughs> I don't really know what time it is now I think about Almost 1 a.m. Something like that. So this is the first item I would like to show you. My big pet bed. I picked it up. It was for sale in the village next to mine. So the next item I would like to show you is this care bag. Um, this is a carrier. This is actually for babies. So you're yeah, supposed to carry it on your chest, around your waist, with this belt here. Um, and the baby has to sit here and then you can just the straps or you can attach the straps and like this you can carry actually the baby on your back but I got this not for a baby I got this for my Chucky <laughs> so like this I can carry my my life-size Chucky to Comic Con yeah it's going to be quite a challenge I think uh, but he fits perfectly I've been uh, talking to the seller about proportions let's just to find out if it was uh, large enough for my chuckies and apparently it was and I got this care bag for like three euros So it's like nothing compared with the price you actually pay for these things I know they can cost quite a bit and uh, I was glad to find an occasion one um, a Second-hand one that I can use and it's just absolutely perfect. It comes in really really handy Chucky fits in there like like a glove <laughs> it's So it's it's perfect. So this is the second item I got off Facebook um, which I would like to use next year uh, on Comic Con. Now, the next part of the video, I'm going to show you some canine stuff. Uh, just, yeah, some canine stuff I picked up passing by. The very first adorable canine that I brought back was this adorable, really large husky figure. It's a black and white husky they had in our, well, garden center, I'm gonna call it, in our garden uh, shop. Um, we went there, we always actually visit such shops in spring to gather our plants for the, for the backyard. And they had these adorable animal figures. I was actually hoping that one day they would have these figures. And this year they had a few, they had a fox, they had ponies, they had these huskies, they had labradors. But I just fell in love with the husky. They also had one that was twice as large. But I wasn't going to spend that much on him. So I got this guy. They also had a standing one. And it's really pretty. In fact, I don't really... Yeah, I try not to collect these figures anymore. Because they 
ask a lot of, yeah, they, they actually need a lot of room to store them. And um, I have a bunch already, but this is the largest one I have like this, uh, except for my big coyote. And, um, well, it's my very first husky and I think it's just awesome. I have been really hesitating about taking him, but I fell just in love with him. So he's awesome. He has had like brown eyes and uh, there's actually the back or the, I think the price is still on him. It was like a, a 44, 49. Apparently it's a little male, look. And uh, I really like the, um, the finishing and the paintings on him. He's really, yeah, majestic. And, uh, and he has like a very fluffy, well-finished tail, which I really appreciate. And I kept him ever since here. Um, it was a bit weird. I wasn't actually going to, uh, to collect some of these. But really, I, when I saw this guy, I was like completely, uh, um, well, I was completely sold for him. So there you go. He's really nice. Doesn't really have a name. Maybe you could just call him Majestic or something. Um, but he's gorgeous looking. And I'll just take him with me to my apartment. So once I move. But I will take me several years um, from now. So the next little canine that I brought back when I visited my local toy shop. Toy shop sorry. I found out that Schleich has been releasing a new wolf. So it's not included in my canine wolf and dog collection. Go get this wolf. It should be in store right now. Well, here at least they have him everywhere. So um, they also have a nice uh, Arctic fox that they, that they released. So in fact, they did a nice job on the eyes this time. And on the, and on the muzzle and the snout. Um, I think it's better than the previous one they made. So this is the new coming wolf, and he's from 2019, I believe. Um, and I don't really know what kind of wolf he's supposed to be. I wish they could do something more about the colors. It doesn't really look very finished, the colors on him. Um, but still, it's nice. So this is a new coming Schleich figure, which is not included in my, uh, in my figure collection. So glad I just could take him with me. He's really nice. I like the, the dark tip of his tail. And actually, on my, well, a few week, weeks ago, we visited Brussels. And I came across a toy store I wanted to visit one day. And I just came across there by coincidence. So this time I just, yeah, jumped in. And, well, they had a few plush there. Rarely the style that I like. But I came across this adorable husky plush. And uh, she's a Douglas. Um, still have her tag on her. Yeah, I make it a her. Her model name is Sasha. Not bad. I, I'm actually still thinking of using this name, but apparently this is Sasha, even though I named her Ulana. Um, so there you go. This is Ulana. And uh, she has like a silver back and a well-finished tail. I didn't like her legs. I don't really like the shape of her legs. Her legs look like the legs of a West Highland Terrier um, or something like that. It doesn't really look like husky legs to me. Um, but still, I was glad to find a, a Douglas on my way. And uh, I, I never thought a Douglas could uh, were sold here. And I think I had it with a discount. Um, but the price was still pretty okay. I came across a white cozen wolf. But these guys are not affordable, unfortunately. Kind of heartbreaking because he was absolutely gorgeous. But yeah. Um, I'm glad I could take Alana with me. She's nice. And she goes perfect with Tyson. So, um, and she has a blue collar on her. So this is actually a Douglas plush I could find on my way. And these occasions are kind of rare. These days, finding nice plush like this on my way is, well, really uh, not an everyday thing to... Uh, to come across, so there you go, and I just love her tail. Actually, I named her after Ulana Homiuk from Chernobyl. I really like the character. Just that she's fictive, but it's a really nice character. So, there you go. That is her. That's about a canine stuff I wanted to show you. 
she has like a pale nose here. Oh, uh, and then there's more like the random stuff that I would like to show you, just which I collected on my way, uh, and which is not easy to well uh, to dedicate to a certain or easy to um, to classify it in uh, in a certain model or in a certain um, type of of item. So first of all, I found this Chucky figure. Uh, well, like this is better. I wanted to collect these ones. I had the Pennywise one and I just really loved it. I thought he has really cute eyes. And I just look how sweet he is. This is just perfect for my drawings. And I, I just fell in love with the Chucky one and I came across him in my favorite geek shop in the in Liège. So there you go. Here he is. I had to collect him, really. Actually, in that same shop, uh, I kind of forgot about that one. Um, I collected another little Pennywise figure as well. For that, I gotta show you here it is. And I don't mind, uh, don't mind all my mess. This my chucky. Good boy. So I came across this little Pennywise hang figure. It's really sweet. I just love it. So. Yeah, he was not so expensive, so I, I decided to have this guy. He's really sweet. He goes perfect, perfectly in my Pennywise collection, so yeah. He's one from the 90s. And also, I wanted to show you my new fish. Unfortunately, about a week ago, I lost Georgie. And, uh, well, I still have Billy here, and this little guy here is Charles. The one with the silver tails. So, yeah, well, actually, yeah. Uh, I think I found out what the reason was why I lost Georgie. So it's a bit of a sad story. Uh, just one morning he was just floating. Um, Ooh, Billy, where are you going? There goes Charles. This is the one with the large head and the silver tail. <laughs> so there you go. That's what I want to show you. Wave. Hi, Billy. Good boy. Ooh, he makes loops. He's swimming loops, buddy. He's swimming loops, yes. Hey, good boys. Where are you? Because Georgie was actually very interactive, I really liked him. And he was a perfect brother for, for Billy, but fortunately. Well, luckily, Charles is not a fighter either, but still. They were a nice team. And now they're like, well, glad to see they still swim pretty well and they seem to appreciate the water I just changed today there you go what fingers so that's what I found in my favorite geek shop lately also came across these adorable little cups with cactuses on it and I just love cactuses so I had to collect these it was just one box you know but like this actually yeah I have something to drink in my apartment I um to drink out of I'm gonna say I just yeah I just really like them and I wanted to collect them for later so no oh, it's just so cute all kinds of cactuses isn't that just sweet I like the Mexican one here. It's really adorable. <laughs> That's just adorable. A Mexican um, saguaro cactus with his little sombrero and his... <laughs> oh, that's just so adorable. So, yeah, I had to collect this. This is just for later. Hmm? Come here, Jimmy. Now I'd like to show you what I just brought back from the coast. It's not much. I've been walking Kylie a lot. I've been letting her run on the beach. I made a nice video about this. I hope you'll enjoy but what I brought back is in the very first place. Um, well, got this adorable little hedgehog dog toy plush. It's, yeah, it's a bit flat. It's like those Duvo ones that I collected, the forest friends. Um, 
But this guy's rather flat and this is not a model. I don't really know if this is new. I just came across it in the pet uh, shop of the market. So, yeah, in the very first place I wasn't quite sure I would collect it. But I really appreciate the fact that it has like the realistic face of a pygmy hedgehog. It's just that it doesn't really fit this little plush, but it's really, really cute. Just look at this. And you have the quills. And it has like brown paws and it has this same little chest fur that Shadow has. So when I saw that, I really needed to have this hedgehog. And it wasn't expensive either, so I really wanted to collect it for my uh, for my collection. And it's just amazing. It's just... Look at this, there was this little chest fur, just like Shadow has. It's amazing. Just came across a dead hedgehog on the road when I was walking the dog today. Kinda says it's a bit of a sad view, really. Um, I don't really know if it was crushed, crushed by a car, but that's a serious problem here uh, for the hedgehog, guys. Um, a bit of a, it's a bit sad, really. I hope it was still alive. Kylie saw it as well. But it was, it was dead, really. Its quills were all stiffened, all stiff, and the animal was stiff like, yeah, well, he has been dead for a while. Um, that's weird, there were no flies on him yet, but he was just dead. So, a bit of a sad story. Um, and I got another adorable little item, which I would like to place in our backyard. Got this adorable little windmill. <laughs> I couldn't leave it. It was just, yeah. So, my dad also really liked it pretty much. He thinks it's kind of romantic. I think it's perfect for in the backyard. I would like to have it for later on my uh, on my balcony. So, and it, it goes pretty well. Absolutely. And it's just so charming, so pretty for in the backyard. We just had a, our uh, lawn renewed. So we have brand new lawn, it's absolutely pretty, and just with this in some, well, in the, in one of those plant holders might just be absolutely pretty, so, well, and I'm glad that my dad appreciated it, yeah. Um, he also liked this, likes this kind of things, and apparently he really liked the one that I picked, so, um, yeah, I'm really happy with it. Can't wait to see it, uh, just, yeah. Can't wait to see the wind blow, blow it, because it's ab absolutely pretty when when it goes spinning. And actually I got a similar item for my friend Chris, I got him this dragonfly. He uh, collects those, and he is absolutely, well yeah, the prize is still on him, so I'll have to remove it. I will give it to him tomorrow. Um, when I saw this one I was like, oh my god, I need to have it. Because, uh, yeah, I know he collects them and it's hard to find. And uh, I took the blue one. Because Dragonfly is rather blue. There was a pink one too. Like this you have a male and a female, you know. But, yeah, well, I think this one was really quite accurate. So, it's amazing. So, I hope you will like it. Yee! There we go. These are about all the items that I collected lately. I really hope you enjoy these. Um, they're really adorable items that I can collect on my way, which were not in packages, and it's yeah, it's just certainly nice to to collect when you when you just pass by. So I really hope you enjoyed the video, guys, and I'll see you later. I wish you a good night. See you later. Bye.